If you have any sections of your yard that are shaded or partially shaded, these shade perennials will reliably cover those gaps with vibrant flowers and healthy foliage year after year. Although some of these plants do well with consistent watering, others can tolerate periods of drought once they've taken root. Additionally, the most of them are rather low maintenance, necessitating only a spring cleanup to prepare the way for new growth. Number one, big root geranium. Deer and rabbits often ignore big root geraniums in favor of more appetizing treats since they are among the most hardy shade tolerant plants. In contrast to the annual zonal geraniums, these vibrant perennials produce a stunning display of pink, purple, or white blossoms in the spring. Depending on the variety, they can also provide stunning leaves color in the fall, with some types boasting woodsy scents. Number two, hosta. Hostas are available in an enormous range of sizes and shapes, making them one of the most versatile and easy to grow shade perennials. Pick from little ones that don't grow much taller than a few inches, all the way up to gigantic ones that spread six feet across or more. Many varieties have attractive variegation, so keep an eye out for leaves that are green, blue, white, chartreuse, or golden color. Number three, yellow corridalis. The title of longest flowering in a shade garden goes to this hardy perennial. Until the first frost, you can marvel at the clusters of sunny yellow blossoms. The attractiveness of yellow corridalis plants extends beyond their blossoms to their gray-green foliage as well. Unless you want this plant to spread its seeds all over your garden, you should deadhead its faded blossoms. Number four, lungwort. Lungwort may not sound very lyrical, but it makes a lovely shade plant. This flowering shade plant got its name from the silvery dots that resemble loam shapes and appear on its leaves. The foliage is lovely all year round, but in spring it really shines when set against a background of white, blue, or pink blossoms. Number five, dead nettle. Dead nettle begins to bloom in the middle of spring with clusters of tiny white, pink, or purple flowers. Colorful blossoms cover this shade plant for the whole summer. These flowering shade perennials add a touch of silver to dark areas, even when they aren't blooming. Number six, Brunnera. Springtime is the perfect time to add some glitter to shade gardens with the sky blue shade blossoms of Brunnera. Even when not in bloom, the plant's big, strongly textured leaves add visual appeal. Although the plant has a short lifespan, it has the ability to self-sow, which means you won't have to purchase additional plants. Number seven, hellebore. Hellebore, often known as Christmas rose, is among the first shade plants to produce flowers. Its late winter or early spring blossoms can be any tint of pink, white, green, or burgundy. The Christmas rose may appear fragile at first glance, but it quickly becomes a robust plant that can withstand severe droughts and even withstands nibbling from rabbits and deer. Number eight, astilbe. Astilbe is a summer flowering plant that produces feathery blossoms in a variety of colors, including white, pink, red, lavender, and burgundy. 
The gorgeous flower plumes aren't the only thing that makes this shade plant stand out. Several types feature finely cut foliage that is flushed with bronze. Number nine, Japanese painted fern. When you think of a shade perennial, Japanese painted fern is about as lovely as it gets. This stunning specimen has fronds that are heavily spotted with green, burgundy, and silver. Furthermore, it thrives in partially shaded locations due to its slow growth and dissemination. In most cases, rabbits and deer will leave it alone. Number 10, Wild Ginger. One of the most hardy shade plants is Wild Ginger, which originates in the North American woods. Foliage that is fuzzy and heart-shaped and attractive from spring through fall is produced by this plant, and it is seldom troubled by rabbits and deer. Impressive ground cover is finely formed by this slow-growing plant. Number 11, Japanese forest grass. Japanese forest grass is available in white, yellow, or vibrant gold variegation, and its flowing leaves resemble a waterfall. These vibrant shade plants typically get stunning scarlet tones on their foliage in the fall. The Oriola variety features dark green margins and vivid yellow leaves, while the All Gold variety has even more dazzling golden foliage. Number 12, Lily Durf. Lily Durf is a popular summertime flowering plant because of its grassy foliage and spikes of white or blue flowers. It's also great because rabbits and deer don't eat it. Furthermore, even when grown in dry shade, it is essentially a garden resident that can be planted and then forgotten about. Number 13, foam flower. Foam flowers are plants that produce spikes of delicate, white, or pink flowers in the spring and hold their blooms for around four to six weeks. The leaves of this native woodland shrub provides a lovely background for other plants, even after the flowers have faded. Number 14, ajuga. While the lovely leaves are the primary reason a juga is cultivated, the plant's blue spring blossoms are a nice bonus. Choose types with pink or white blossoms and dark purple or variegated leaves. As it spreads outward from its low, creeping stems, it forms a resistant ground cover. Number 15. Toad Lily. A toad lily is a lovely, graceful addition to a shadow garden. The distinctive blossoms of this low-maintenance shade perennial are sometimes compared to those of orchids. Purple and blue spots appear on a lot of them. Tojin is a popular choice since it produces exceptionally big lavender blossoms. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.